My favorite part of this show is when they call Don something, like Don Luciano. Papa Luciano. That's right, Papa's coming. What's happening right now? Uh, the mafia boss guy right now, he's a fraud. Fake son. But it's also interesting how the parallels of the samurai guy and the fraudulent mafia guy boast, you know, bastard. Yet the mafia boss before was the one that took in the son while the honorable samurai family, they discarded him. Looking like there is a lot of, you know, a code of honors and ethics and morals and, you know, respect in the mafia family that also doesn't exist right now with the current lead. And that's why all the other dudes around the fake mafia boss are questioning the leadership. And they're like, we don't want any of this shit. Right now, we're having another um, trial by combat. We've cornered the rats here. Everyone knows that he's a fraud. But we're giving him one chance to duel. We're going to see the 1v1 of Arma and the samurai guy, I think. Well, let's begin today's reaction. Fraud. You ain't Gambino. Oh, Dio shows up. Pinocchio. It's Miss Pinocchio, okay? Yeah. That's right, right? This Gambino guy is making just a mess of everyone else associated with the, you know, Mafia, right? The same group. I wonder if Pinocchio will also take this guy as, like, a slave. Remember last, the first arc that we concluded, the gambling couple? Like, Pinocchio, we're like, we kind of sold him off to them. So, are we going to do the same thing? 50 mil! Damn! Big payout! This is what I'm talking about. Miss Finocchio turns into Mr. Finocchio whenever he gets to a bit too angry. Once it gets really angry, bro, all that like, you know, cute little voice acting goes away. Okay. And then the switch, bro. The switch. <laughs> Samurai guy, of course. And Arma was training hard. No, no kill. No kill. Let's take Koga. Arma just spent an entire week or something in the forest tra training. We, we just gonna... We're just gonna say, nah? I'll, I'll step in? O okay, I thought Arma was gonna go in. Okay. He drank another... Enhancing potion. Because he has. やる気満々じゃないか。だが勝っても I mean, he already drank that potion, but that's probably not the secret. There's a dude that gets that holds an umbrella for Finocchio, bro. This other dude should come in with a blanket and snuggle Finocchio if he's cold. Yo, Finocchio's cold, man. Do something. Ah, that's what you think. Crazy how he's surviving in close combat with just his gun. 
いやいいっす抜刀の際の攻撃速度と威力が飛躍的に向上するされる Stay outside the zone 恐れるには値しない逆転の種はトーガ自身の言葉で Planted the seeds by Koga's own words. Koga was saying how, you know, Noel is so confident that this bad match is already over. So that belief is the seed that we plant, and we want him to think that. Koga no that one, that one, never mind. Is he actually out of ammo? Is that a, is that a fake out? I don't know. I don't know if that's a life hack. What a random fact to know right now, though. Oh, okay, so? Hello? It's just making him doubt his own self. It's just like saying some outlandish shit out of nowhere. And he's like, what? And then he gets distracted. Okay, that's the plan. What the fuck? I thought he was gonna get his arm cut off there. He clenched his muscles so tight that he just disarmed him. With the blade lodged in his arms. What? <laughs> oh. And we can see again. Bulletproof vest? What has he got on? He cut the ammo. Ammo just shielded us? Ice bullet. Okay, we got the ice bullet on him. Ooh, that name techniques! Already over? Already over? Already over? Might not be down yet. Maybe there's a flashback when he gets back up, but like, damn. The whole plan was to throw away the gun. Make him think that we have something else up our sleeve. And yeah, we kind of did. It was the empty, not the empty bullets, just the bullets at the end. For the ice bullets. <laughs> Fuck you, slave master. Over. It's already over, bro. Damn. That was way too easy. It's because he's the weakest that he needs to be so tough. Everything. Grandpa's death, the crazy training before that too. Noel could give you that chance. Koga is so tragic. He's actually such a kind person. Anyone with a backstory like him, I could totally imagine them just being like a crazy villain story. Like, who could go through this and still remain this good of a person? And like the strong person telling the weak person that I could be as strong as you, like a different type of strength beyond just swordsmanship. Alright, now what? What happens to Gambino? Alright, take Albert now. Man among men. Could be powerful tools though. Really? What's them all swore their allegiance to us? They want to follow us now. Yeah, throwing away your arm like that was crazy. Okay. That kick was risky? What about the arm block? Just like, just, just like a guarding the sword against the arm? And then you clench your muscles to then knock out the sword? That's insanity to me. Yeah, you would have killed him though. We need more allies. You would have killed him. Grandfather did.
That girl, bro. Holy shit. That girl, oh my god, bro. I can't believe they killed her too and they brought that paper scrap thing. Holy shit. Pinocchio! So, about what? ノーリスクで商売がたけを潰せて大満足。まどろっかしいのは嫌いだから、うちのファミリーに入りなさい。ノー。悪いようにはしないわ。We're He's a ruler, bro. He doesn't want to be led. The zesty one. What, what class are you? I don't know. What are you? Did he just take our heart? Scout. Punisher. A rank. I think he just took our heart there, right? Scout specialty A rank. That's our heart, man. Ba -bump, ba -bump. <laughs> what if this is just fake, though? Because we clearly saw the hole on the left side of the chest where the heart is. But, like, what if this is just fake and it's just the show that he's putting on? I don't know. He, he did feel that, though. He did feel it. But what if it's actually not his heart? It's just, psych, got you. How? How can you just do that? You just took our heart? A thin air? What the hell? The heart just showed up! I can initiate it after you, re twi you twice refuse a request from me. Oh! A very specific conditional skill. You reject twice and he can just take your heart. What the fuck? Yo! And like this secret must like if this secret got out it could really cripple his business because like i'm sure he uses this as his ultimate trump card in negotiations huh. very conditional but very op dusty heart nothing else the heart is spatially linked okay uh -uh. Too talented. Way talented. Probably. Papa Luciano going down, maybe. Unless. Okay. No! I expected to start fondling the heart and, like, I don't know, threaten to crush it. But like, if we just deny. He'll just kill us. So we either bluff and stand, you know, we just die on this hill. And maybe Pinocchio will respect us so much that he'll return the heart to us. And it's like, oh, it's just a joke. But I don't know. Maybe this is still a test. <laughs> Even if we got the heart back, how would we put it back? Let's think about it. We, let's say we took the heart back. We beat him in a fight and it took the heart. There's no hole. It's all closed up. It's spatial. It's spatial match. How, how, how am I put? Am I eating the heart? What are we doing with the heart? Oh, shit. We got no theme playing again. Call him on his bluff. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, that rumor was spread and it would show the weakness of Finocchio that they try to pluck someone that had potential to bear fangs later. Okay, okay, that kind of makes sense. He's not manly though. It's Miss. Pinocchio, it's Nason. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't 
I don't know if Finocchio has balls because it's Miss Finocchio, bro. I don't care if you want to be labeled a man, woman. I don't give a fuck, okay? But he says I'm going to be Miss. So the balls, the manliness, does it matter here? Does Finocchio still care about this shit? It's kind of working. Damn. Only I control me. That's crazy. That's crazy that he has our heart in his palms that he could crush any moment. Yet we're the one threatening him to the point where he can feel our grasp of his heart. What the hell is this 16-year-old kid? Yeah, you are. <laughs> He's backing up. Oh, he's like, I was, I was just playing with you. I'm just joking around. Oh, tee hee, me tee. No, you are serious. You are fucking serious, bro. Cap. All right, it's back. It's back. Now, can he keep doing this though? That's the thing. How does this work? Does he get to just take her heart if he wants to? Or like, what? Now that he gave back, I, I know he won't do it because we called out on this bullshit and his reputation on the line. But like, he could just keep doing it, right? Because the condition, I don't know. I don't, may, maybe it's just like a one-time thing and he can't do it anymore. We don't know his, all his powers limitations. But what a ridiculous power. A scout. A rank punisher. Two rejects means you can take heart. Crazy. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay. Just watch me, Finocchio. <laughs> I love how he like, you know. <laughs> yeah, that was a very Jojo X shading right now. <laughs> but his voice acting just immediately goes to Dio voice acting when he's like angry and pissed off. <laughs> Maybe Finocchio will serve us in the future. Arma. Yo, Arma's got some fucking fangs she's showing. Also, a lot of cleavage. Well then, where's Scambino going? <laughs> what are we gonna do with Albert Gambino, bro? We should send him to the dungeons. 40 years of manual labor. Something. Something terrible. <laughs> the exact opposite here. Yeah. Look at that, man. Remember, just because you have a sin, it doesn't mean it's bad. Now, in this show, right, it worked out this way, where Noel showed his pride and arrogance and matched it, and he won. Albert's showing no pride, and that's his downfall. So again, just because you, you're showing a sin or a virtue doesn't mean you're bad or good. It's all really context-based and who you're working with. <laughs> Pigsty? What do you mean by that? I've seen some doujins, some fucked up art. Like, people with their limbs cut off and actually having, like, you know, like pig hooves and shit and walking around. It, like, it, they're, they're literal slaves. Like, it's. That's that. That's that. Finoki don't fuck around. That's messed up. Oh. Oh. You're a pig now. <laughs> He's crazy. He's fucking crazy. I don't know who's crazier. Finoki or Noel. Noel has his own sense of craziness. Pinocchio is more creepy crazy, right? Yeah, this, this type of twistiness, I don't think anyone can match it. Noelle's probably also as crazy, but it's a different flavor of crazy. <laughs> Ooh. What the fuck is that lipstick? Is that Pinocchio's lipstick? <laughs> he gave us a kiss mark, a little chew on the letter there, right? Is, is that what that is? I think it is, bro. Is that a gift? <laughs> <laughs> Join our party. Be our ally.
To be the strongest seeker. Oh. Am I jealous? Yeah, you can do whatever you want, man. Be our sword. Okay. Wonder how Arma is feeling right now. Is she ain't having it. She's like, hmm. I can't just have private moments with Noel anymore. This fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that. She pissed, she pissed. Join the party. Buru Beyond. Oh, whoa, 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 we're fighting. The Huntings and Goblins, okay. Woo. Goblin King. Yo! Our teamwork! Look how fluid it is! He wants to roleplay as a wolf. Arma wants to get in on some. Okay, they're bantering. Yeah, I expected Arma to be very hostile towards Koga. Their relationship will be pretty funny. Koga! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, our team is great now. <laughs> this art here is very funny. This looks like the middle of like, they couldn't decide if they wanted to do a chibi model or a real model. It's somewhere in between a chibi and real model right here. Here we go. Yeah. We want a spaceship. Abyss jobs. Nice. More money, harder jobs. Finocchio. No? Oh, it's a Ranko. I thought it was Finocchio. <laughs> you want to show it on Noel's ass? Okay, okay, so we can rank up now. What an ominous sign. B rank now, wow. Cool. Yeah. Yes. The spaceship regalia. Oh, that's pretty much it. That's today's episode of Talker and... Yes, the fight scenes? It's pretty um cool, right? How did we beat Koga? By making him think that he could be uh, hiding something up his sleeve and throwing away the gun, distraction, and the ice bullets that we use at the end. Pretty crazy. The crazy shit here probably is defending against the sword with his right arm, clenching the muscles, contracting it so hard that the arm doesn't get sliced off, yet the blade gets dismantled. That was insane. The fight here also, you know, just to kind of portray our new teamwork. Everyone is strong. We got some good people that can keep up with Noel's strategy, so that's amazing. But the highlight of today's episode is the talking part, right? I and mean, this show is all about talking, so the dialogues, it's so menacing. Pinocchio's OP bullshit ability. Now, it's not that strong if you, um, I guess, know his powers. Because a very easy way to just beat Pinocchio, because he can't fight himself, is just don't answer him, right? Simply ignore him when he requests something probably doesn't count as a rejection. So you can kind of bypass that. But if you reject him twice, he can take your heart. Spatial magic, A-rank punisher, secret shit. What the hell? But Noel, even though his heart was in the palm of somebody else, bro walked up and showed so much courage and aura. And they said, balls on the line, right? He's showing his balls and... Finocchio just had to respect that. That pride and arrogance matched, and Finocchio respects that. Now he's got to deliver the result, or Finocchio will be disappointed. Now, on the other hand, you have the exact opposite, showing no pride. What do you get turned into? An actual pig. His arms, his legs, they will be cut off. 
and he will have like pig hooves like an animal and he'll walk around as like a part of a pig farm like what the fuck? i wonder if they also get fattened up and then they get sold off like if there was like a whole like cannibal like industry here where finocchio has a farm of like human pigs then he like fattens them up and then sells them off where they get butchered bro i bet there is this place is so fucked up we got a new party sorry it's a clan now and our goal is seven star regalia and this mark we're gonna you know rank up b class talker i wonder if his specialty will go from like talker to yapper or something that's it for me if you're still here though if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlists for even more content and until next time take care